So okay. the easiest way to understand them, kind of the, the essence of each pattern, is its safety strategy. And there are five basic safety strategies. First is leaving, getting away from whatever is upsetting you, the person, the place, whatever it is. Second is going toward a, another person in that situation, even if that person is the one that is upsetting you or scaring you or whatever it is. Try to connect with them and try to get them to help you out and make it better for you. This is the, uh, the safety strategy that all nursing babies use, right? Baby is unhappy, baby cries. Crying gets someone to come and help them, right? Are you tired? Are you cold? Are you hot? Are you scared? Are you, do you have gas? Right? And it's the job of somebody else to come and fix it. It's a very legitimate thing. That's connecting with another person that leads a person into merging pattern. Third one is, okay, something bad is happening. Uh, I don't like it and I can't change it. There's no point in fighting it. So pull in, send your energy down into the lower part of your body and even into the ground underneath you to hide. Hunker down and hide. Wait for the storm to blow over. If as a kid you are losing all the fights, there's no point in fighting anymore. Your best strategy is to not fight, hunker down, let it blow over, let those crazy people fight it out, and then come back when it's safe. Okay. They hide. The person who is caught in an enduring pattern is perfectly aware. They just want you to go away. Like, stop messing with me, you know? Yeah, Bob leave me, me alone. I'm going to go over right. here. Right. Yes. And figure by, it out myself. There's sort yeah. of a brooding <laughs> mentality to this. And by the way, you can't make me. Yes. Right. And They're they stubborn. are right. You can unmake them. <laughs> so get over any illusion you have about them. Okay, that's third one. Fourth one is the opposite. Feeling scared, sad, upset. Bring all your energy up in your body, as much energy as possible. Send it out the front, to whoever is upsetting you, and try to intimidate them, dominate them, basically uh, coerce them into changing their behavior to be the way you want it to be. You're trying to dominate them. This works better if you naturally have a strong flow of energy. You have to have a big enough flow of energy to pull this off. Oh. And this fact is true of all the patterns. You have to have the native talents to make that safety strategy work for you or it doesn't work for you. Interesting. And if it doesn't work, you, do, you abandon it. You don't keep trying that. Right. You right. know, if you've, if you've raised little kids, they're very creative and they will try everything. And if something works for them, they'll do it some more. If it doesn't work, they try something they'll else. Do something else. Yeah, exactly. Makes sense. It's very yeah. pragmatic. So we've got leaving. Connecting and, and merging, hunkering down, enduring it, letting it blow over, bringing energy up, being more aggressive, dominating. And the fifth one is known as the rigid pattern. And the problem is, you know, somebody is upset with you, mom and dad, say you're being a bad boy or a bad girl. And um, apparently this is a situation in which mom and dad have some some rules about how you are supposed to be and how you're supposed to act and perform. And what you learn to do is to constrict the muscles in your, in your body to narrow the flow of life energy through your core so that you don't feel as much inside. And since you don't have as many feelings to get in the way, you're more able to focus on your performance and your actions and do it the way they want. You're more able to be a good boy or a good girl. Follow the rules. You know, win the contest. Get an A on the test. Right. Have your Achieve hair combed. Achieve and get approval. Yes. Achieve and get approval. You'll exactly. You'll be safe if you are approved of. If you are. If you do right. it right. You have to do it right. right. Yep. So this gives rise to the whole love has to be earned problem. You know, you have to behave right in order to be lovable. Because you're not lovable just for who you are. It's for your performance. 
So the kid starts to think, I am my performance. Mm -hmm. Everybody is their performance. It's not about your essence. It's not about your heart. We don't care about heart-to-heart connection. It's about performance. So we've got leaving, merging, hunkering down, enduring, pulling it up and getting aggressive, and getting rigid. And it becomes rigid in the mind as well as in the body. The body gets stiff. The mind gets stiff. Like everything should be in order, should be in the categories assigned. We can't have any, any sloppiness or chaos here. 